Hi guys, this is me, Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA, and I'm just going to do a quick video. I'm going to try to show you how to make some easy, inexpensive steps for your patio or your mobile home or your whatever where you need some steps. Uh, I used to have some wooden steps that came down off that deck, but that deck is 10 years old. And again, I full-time RV, and this is my home base. And so I'm not here all the time, but I'm here a lot. And the old wooden steps were, were getting rotted. I mean, they were looking pretty bad. And I was going to replace them with some wooden steps, but I'm not a real carpenter. I mean, even though you can buy the, the little things you nail the boards on uh, at Lowe's, I thought I would come up with something else that may last a little longer. And, uh, and something I, that I could do myself. I'm 70 years old, I full-time RV, and again, this is my home base. But as you can see, those, those steps are okay. I mean, I'm not kidding you, they, they work fine. And uh, I've had them for about, oh, five months. And uh, what, what, they're made, what it's made out of, and I'll, gi I'll give you a materials list. I hope you can hear this. Uh, I'll give you a materials list and tell you the cost, and then show you how, they're, how, they're, how it's put together. It's really simple. And, uh, but anyway, what you need to make these cheapy steps, and, and, and I mean, without, with a minimum of tools, you don't need, a, you don't need a, a saw, you don't need a drill, you need a hammer, right here, you need a hammer, and you're gonna need, I'll give you a list. But anyway, first I'm gonna give you a materials list, and then I'll show you how to do it. You're going to need, for this set right here, you've got one, two, you've got a step here, step here, step here, you've got three steps, <clears throat> it works fine. You need ten cinder blocks, and they're going to, they're called cinder, C-I-N-D-E-R, they may call them something else in your area, but you can get them at Lowe's <clears throat> or Home Depot, they're a buck seventy-five a piece, maybe a little more or less wherever you are. These little bricks right here are just solid blocks. And uh, they're going to cost you about $1.50 a piece. And then you're going to need some deck nails, okay? And uh, these deck nails, there's two things really good about them. Is, uh, I'll show you. First of all, they're galvanized, if you can see that. And they've got a little screw look on them to them. So when you drive them in, it, it's kind of like you're screwing them in. It would be... Even better if you use screws, but I don't have an electric drill, so I just had to use nails. I do have a hammer. But anyway, you can buy those, and what you do, you get, get uh, Lowe's or Home Depot to cut the lumber that you need, so you don't need a saw either, because they, they will cut it. They'll cut it for free. And you need treated lumber. Uh, treated just means you can use it outdoors. <clears throat> I use two befores. And you can, you know, if you need a narrow step, whatever, it doesn't matter. It just so happened that uh, I made these a little wider, so it would be easier for me because I made 70. But you can make them any width you want. Uh, you know, you can add or, add or subtract uh, cinder blocks, make another step if you wanted to, or just use one step. doesn't matter. They're not fitted together. But the lumber, the lumber will cost you about... Ten dollars for the total. For this right here cost me ten bucks. So the the grand total of everything was about fifty-five dollars in that range for the whole setup. And this will last forever. And these blocks, th these right here, are just laid in here. Okay. Let me see if I can get one off. After they sit a while, they they really fit together well. But anyway, you just <clears throat> lay these down on there and you can see these boards here they're nailed together uh, with the deck nails and then I just place these in there like so and they, they don't slip now you don't want too much overhang here though you don't want too much overhang because you could step on the edge and flip one of these up uh, there is a, you could uh, also you, you know if you've got a, a you, you can drill through these blocks if you have the right drill bit and, and nail these to these boards. I didn't because they are extremely stable. I mean, uh, I've been up and down these steps 
probably a thousand times without any problems at all. How long will they last? My God, probably forever. Now your first step, uh, what I did for the first step here, is I just used some blocks, and you can use anything you want to, uh, you know, but, but uh, I could have just bought some more cinder blocks and made another step here, but I had, I already had here, uh, some more, some blocks that I had used for other things, and I wanted to use them, so that's why I came up with this. I have the flat blocks, and uh, it works really good. But again, if for someone that just wants a project that they can do themselves without having to hire a carpenter or some kind of handyman, which I didn't want to do, because to get a handyman out here, I live in a rural area of central Texas, and to get anybody out here to do anything, uh, you got to pay them a minimum of hundred bucks, you know, because you know, they're going to charge you that just for a trip fee. And uh, so I thought, no, I'm not going to do that. And then I thought about doing it, you know, with the lumber again. But the lumber doesn't last. I mean, the lumber, the wooden steps just don't last. I mean, they just don't. You know, even I, I had treated lumber, really good stuff. It lasted about eight years, and 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 I probably should have replaced them sooner. But again. Cheap steps, this is my baggy shirt, somebody, one of the viewers made a comment, you know, why do I wear these baggy shirts? Well, the reason I wear these baggy shirts is because I get them cheap at Walmart. Walmart always has these super sales on men's clothing, and, the, and, and usually it's the triple X large or whatever, and uh, these are, <coughs> I wear these when I go walking because, you know, I'm highly visible, I've got a lime green one and this one, and... Uh, so anyway, I'm not a fa I don't make fashion statements when I do these videos because I'm just not into it that much. But be that as it may, you get you some lumber, have it cut to whatever size you need for the width of your steps. Buy you some cinder blocks. These are cinder blocks. These right here, the big old good ones. They've got they've got little ho holes on the sides here. Okay, so you can just slip the lumber right through there to the other one. Boom, boom, and. Uh, these just lay on top, not a problem. But the cinder, these are not solid blocks right here, okay? There's openings in here, right here, okay? They're called cinder blocks. I don't know what they call them in your area. That's what we call them here. And as far as getting it level, try to get it, you know, get you a level, put it up here on top, try to get it as close as you can, and that way uh, they won't wobble. I mean, these are really stable. I mean, you know, of course, they've been sitting here for four months, so they kind of got into the dirt, because they're sitting on dirt, not concrete, but dirt. And so they've kind of blended with Mother Earth. But anyway, just a quick video, Rusty78609, how to build some cheap steps. And uh, it works for me. Give it a shot. You could also use these for, to put stuff on. You could, you could actually use this for shelving. You know what I mean? If you had some heavy stuff uh, that you needed to uh, get off the ground or in your garage or whatever, you can modify this plant a little bit and use it for that. Or also setting planters on, you know, the heavy... You know, big pots, you know, you could use it for that. You can use it all kind of things. And it's cheap, easy to do, and the materials are readily available. Anyway, Rusty 78609, Central Texas, USA. Thumbs up to you guys. Adios, amigos. Carpe diem. And bye-bye. And now the next thing i got to try to do in this sunlight is try to find the off button. And there it is. Adios.